Ebony Crow back again, and as you can tell from the title of the video, I got myself a new PC, and I'm actually quite excited about it because uh, this is the first PC I've actually built from scratch in what feels like decades, because usually I would just upgrade components at a time, um, and usually it's the same OS that transfers over and all the hard drives, uh, usually something like that, but this time, no, 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 no starting it from scratch. So uh, I spent quite a bit of money on it. And um, actually, I was quite excited. And I put up a poll asking if people would be interested in, well, A, seeing a video about this PC and the one that is going to be replaced, or just a video about the new PC, or, you know, no, I don't care, don't make a video about it, or I don't really care. And uh, the majority of people actually put, uh, voted for uh, a video about the new PC and the one that's being replaced. So uh, that's what this video is gonna be. And if you wanna jump ahead to certain parts of the video, there will be timestamps in this video. So if you just wanna see the new PC, go ahead, skip to the, like that part of the video, it'll be like the last section. Um, but if you want even a quicker, just bare bones, you know, version of what I got, I'm gonna be making a separate video. It's gonna be unlisted, so I could just point people to the video if they ask me what kind of PC I have. So for quite some time, I was actually thinking about upgrading my computer. And the reason for that was because I was gonna hit my 15th anniversary at work. And I knew that when I hit that anniversary, I'd be getting a substantial bonus. And I was thinking, well, my computer could use some upgrading. And I was thinking about replacing the graphics card, but then I realized, you know what? You know, graphics cards are hard to get at this you know, point in time. And I was thinking about upgrading, basically building a new computer and reusing the graphics card I had, and then maybe in the future, uh, upgrading the graphics card. Uh, but then I was starting to look and it's like, what I was looking at was how I would get a graphics card. Um, there's like the, the uh, now in stock alerts, but like every time I get that alert and I go to check whatever, whatever was available would be sold out. Uh, there was the new egg shuffle, but then I found out what your odds of actually being able to buy a graphics graphics card through new age shuffle is like, there's hundreds of thousands of people doing this new egg shuffle every day. So your odds of being picked for the privilege of buying those parts is uh, pretty slim. And not only that, but oftentimes they'll bundle the graphics card with something else, a power supply, some memory, a motherboard. So I, my whole plan of well, be building the whole computer and then going for the graphics card last was thrown out the window because of that reason, uh, because I didn't want to have to, oh, get a bundle and then have to resell something. So in my mind, I was thinking, well, I'll just keep going for the shuffle and whatever part I wind up with with the graphics card could be used in the build for the computer. Uh, but then uh, I realized like, hey, you know what? I got a micro center. It's fairly close to me. And I, it's kind of on my way for home from work if I uh, take an alternate route. And I stopped in there, what is like Tuesday, a couple days ago. And I walked in there, I wasn't really expecting to see any graphics cards, but behind the glass, I saw graphics cards. Uh, third, th what I was actually looking for was like uh, a 30, 3060, a 3060 Ti, a 3070 or 3070 Ti, even though the 3070s are kind of going for up to a thousand dollars now. And I didn't really want to spend that much money on a graphics card, but I still, you know, even the 3060s, which are supposed to be uh, around $300 mark MSRP are still getting sold for well above that, like in the $500 range, uh, just because there is such a demand for video cards. Uh, so I was willing to pay a bit more, but I saw they had graphics card. And at that moment, you know, um, you know, customer service person came up and asked me if I need help. I was like, hey, do you actually have these video cards here? And if so, can I buy them? And he looked at me, he's like, yes, we do have a couple but there's a catch. And the catch was that you had to buy it along with a whole system. And I was like, well, that actually works out for me because I want to build a whole system. But the second catch was, yeah, you could buy all the parts for the new system, but you also had to have them build it at Micro Center. And depending on what you put in it, it could cost anywhere between $150 to $250. 
and what I wanted to put in this thing cost would cost two hundred and fifty dollars. And I thought about it and I was like, and, and they only had two 360s in socks. They had 360 and a 360 Ti. And I was like, well, the 360 Ti is kind of perfect for what I want. And um, and yeah, it's a bit more expensive <laughs> than it would have normally been if there was no shortage. And on top of that, I've got to pay for what I wanted, $250 for them to build it. And I was like, well, it's either that or drive myself crazy doing the new age new egg shuffle and all this other stuff so i said you know what let's put all the pieces if you got all the pieces i really want and and um i'm kind of satisfied with the price i'll do it and sure enough there was stuff that i thought that they wouldn't have in stock that they did have in stock because it turned out that the truck had just come in and made deliveries that day and it wasn't yet in their inventory system that was online which is probably more like why they had the cards in the first place so um the guy got the total and it was pretty high it was higher than i was expecting but not out of my my range so i was like you know what go ahead and do it and i you know i would have liked to build it myself but you know what with them building it and everything um, they did a really good, well, I haven't yet opened it, but they did like the BIOS updates and they changed the BIOS settings. So I wouldn't have to. So, uh, I'll have to double check that when I actually power it on and everything from this point, I'm going to show you what I actually have. All right. So here is the PC that is going to be replaced. But before I talk about that, um, I thought I'd kind of show some other stuff. Cause I did replace like a lot of stuff recently. Like I even rearranged this whole desk. Uh, rather recently too because the computer for for years and years and years and years used to be hidden down here but then i i actually built this table here fairly recently and i know i just i was going to put the pc up on top and then i realized you know what maybe it'd go better over here so i did that but uh also some new stuff like this uh boom arm and this whole mic um setup what had happened earlier this year is the mic that i was using died and I was looking for a replacement and I just wound up going at it, it, it died probably because I dropped it one too many times. <laughs> so um, I was looking for a replacement. I decided to go ahead and get another Blue Yeti. But then I saw this whole set, this, like ev everything you see here, the, the mic, the uh, shock mount and the arm, they sold at Best Buy in one whole package for $200. And I thought that was a really good good because the by itself the mic is like 120 dollars and this boom arm they sold separately for like a hundred dollars already right there i'm getting my money's worth and then getting a uh, shock mount on top of that and it's this is really nice and i also built this table too so it would be mounted further away and so it wasn't so much closer to me also this printer um it's an eco tank highly recommended um i don't like i, I didn't like uh, all the previous inject printers I had because they were cartridges and I never believed it when it said the, the ink cartridges out of ink because they never seemed to last very long. This thing, you just like pour the ink into it. You can see the, in the reserves how much ink you've used. And um, I've had this thing for like eight months already and you can see how much ink. I mean, this thing has been printed on every day and you can see just how much ink has actually been used so far. This is going to last quite quite a while. And then, of course, because I have more table space here, I can actually have my laptop here and then open that up if I need to as well. And then over here, I got the uh, little headphone stand, just a really cheap headphone stand for the uh, what? I don't remember what the the, um, <laughs> the, the it's, these are Razer headphones, wireless headphones. They're really good. I don't really remember the exact name of them. Also, speaking of Razer, there's the um, webcam. I decided to replace my webcam earlier this year with something that is far better and this is the the Razer Keo Pro. I mean, and it was on sale uh, during Amazon Prime Day, like fifty dollars off. So it was one hundred fifty dollars for me. But normally it's like a two hundred dollar um, webcam. And that's about everything. This, let's talk about the PC here. This is what is going to be replaced, and I've kind of uh, stacked everything onto it. And I was looking up this case because it seems like I've had this case forever. And in some respects, that's kind of true because I looked up this case is 12 years old. And uh, when I was actually researching new cases, uh, to give you an idea how long it's been since I've looked up new cases, it took me by surprise that most cases nowadays 
don't have bays in the front. That's how old this is. And um, so we've got the uh, the Blu-ray here, which I'm going to use for in a new computer. And you'll see uh, how I plan on using that um, because I still use the, the, the drive to rip DVDs and Blu-rays whenever I buy them. So that's really the only purpose I use it for. And then I, I found these at Fry's. And in fact, I, I think I might have bought this case at Fry's. <laughs> uh, I don't remember how much, but I, I, I also found these drawers in Fry's for bays that I'm not using. I thought, thought that was kind of funny. It's like, oh, I, I had put SD cards and flash, uh, dri uh, flash uh, drives, flash drives, yeah, and SD cards in here. And then um, this case itself is like built like a tank. Um, it's really heavy and it's really heavy duty. So, uh, and, and I think more of the lights inside of it. I mean, this is before RGB was really a commonplace thing. And I think the light in the front had died and I think the light, light on top had died. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what we'll do is to, to point out some extra components here. I, and actually this thing does have the dial on top to adjust the fan speed and the, the button that's supposed to turn on and off the lights, but doesn't work because I probably hooked it up improperly at one point. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll take the side off and we could take a better look inside this thing. So here we are, I have the side off and uh, it's tethered because there is a fan in the side here. And I was actually looking more closely at the fans in there and actually they all still have the lights on them, except for the one in the front. Either it's just not connected or those lights did burn out. But let's go through what's in here. First, let's start with the graphics card. This is a, a an Asus uh, Dual GeForce GTX 1060. Um, this is probably the most recent component in this computer, maybe aside from the, uh, the solid state hard drive. But uh, what I find ridiculous is that the graphics card shortage is so bad that I could probably resell this card right now for the same price I bought it for new five years, four or five years ago. Uh, that's how bad things are with the graphics cards. But I still want to keep it. Still a good card, and it, it will it will actually serve really good with the uh, Legends Pinball over there. Um, what else? The CPU is an Intel i7. What? Well, let me see here. I got the thing over here. It's an i7 um, 6700, which means it's, uh, I think, sixth generation. And that was about five, four or five years ago, probably five years ago. So, um, yeah, it's a four core processor. Um, it was It's pretty good. I mean, for gaming and stuff, even nowadays. But I want to go a little bit more than that. Um, well, actually, I'm going a lot more than that. Uh, the motherboard, why not? Um, that is an Asus Maximus 8 Hero motherboard. And the AC just kicked on. So um, apologies if that's you know, bother me. Well, I'm going to bother you. But um, one of the reasons why I wanted to place the motherboard for sure is because there's only four three uh usb 3.0 well it's like these was like a 3.0 and one 3.1 i'm not 100 sure uh slots in the back of this motherboard so i have been using a lot of um splitters usb 3 splitters and that's not really that great in fact it's up here and i kind of actually ruined it a little bit <laughs> but um yeah because i do have on the side here let's see if i can actually get in there can you see is it yeah there it is it's a uh, external hard drive, which I'll, I'll talk about in a bit. Um, but the memory is a, it, it's uh, two sticks of 16 gig DDR4 at uh, 266, two, 2666 megahertz. Um, so we're using dual channel here, of course. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, oh yeah, the power supply. Uh, this power supply is in here because uh, the one I originally had in here died and I ran out really quick to find one. And for about a hundred bucks at the time, this is a, a ton of uh, 1050 watt. It's ultra X4. Now it's not the greatest quality. The, the rating on this is 80 plus silver. And I think what's really recommended these days is 80 plus gold, which would have been a step above this, but Hey, it's been working. It's been working for what I have here. Um, let's talk about the hard drives, the storage. Uh, there is one slot here for an M2, and in here I've got a 512 um, Samsung 970 Pro that is being used as the uh, boot uh, boot device, and uh, you know having Windows and all you know programs on there. 
Uh, there is only one SSD slot, M2 slot on here. The external drive is, I don't remember the brand name, but it, I think it's like a Seagate external drive. And that is a five terabyte uh, drive. And then there's four other hard drives in here and they are uh, the old school SATA um, HDDs. And if I remember correctly, there is a four gig. That four gig is actually gonna be transferred over into the new computer. The rest of them will not be because there's uh, two, two not, did I say four gig? Four terabyte. The four terabyte is gonna be put into the new computer along with a few other hard drives, which I'll get into when we talk about the new computer. Uh, a two two terabyte hard drives and one one terabyte hard drive. Um, so all those will remain in this PC even though it's kind of overkill for what I really need. And of course, we've got the, um, the I think I mentioned already, the Blu-ray and the DVD drive. The Blu-ray drive is gonna be moved into the new computer. Uh, you'll see how I'm gonna do that, even though it'll be, it won't be internal. Uh, and I already said why I wanna do that, but the other one will be kept in here just in case. So there you go. That is the PC that is being replaced. So that is the PC I am going to be replacing very, very shortly. But one of the reasons why I wanted to build a whole new PC from scratch is because I wanted to take this PC as it is and hook it up to the At Games Legends pinball permanently. So I could use things like Launchbox, uh, maybe Pinball Emporium or a virtual pinball, whatever, what, you know, just on that whenever I wanted instead of having to get all the cables to hook my laptop up to it. So that was part of the reason. But in order to do that, I didn't have to buy one extra thing. I did have to buy a uh, Wi-Fi card for this thing because it doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi at all. And um, hopefully that'll work out just fine. Uh, just more setup, I suppose. So at this point, I need to actually set up the new computer. And that might actually take me a couple days just because I won't be able to start working on it till tomorrow night because I actually still need to use this computer for work tomorrow. <laughs> So you'll see a jump cut, and at that point, you'll see the new computer. All right, it is really late Saturday night, and uh, the computer is all built. I actually finished it earlier today, but I really spent the whole day copying files over, setting up all my programs, getting everything the way I wanted it to. And the computer is just off to the left, but before we take a look at it, I realized that when I was filming on Thursday, the old setup, I didn't really talk about the monitors I'm using. So I just want to do that right now really quick. And the first one here, the main one is a, uh, it's an LG. It's a 32 inch 1440p monitor with uh, 144 Hertz. And the one off to the side that is in the portrait mode is, well, it's an AOC and it is a, I think it's 24 inch and it is also 144 Hertz. But now with that out of the way, let's take a look. There is the new computer right there. So the case itself is a Fractal Meshify 2 with the light uh, tinted glass on the side. I, I really, what kind of drove me to this is like, it's got really good airflow, but I really like the way the front of this thing looked. Uh, it's, um, you know, I used to have Metroplex on top of the other one, but I didn't, I, I didn't want to block airflow up here. Plus it kind of, you know, it's not very sturdy. It's not like the tank like the other one was. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take off the glass and the side panels so we don't get the reflection and we'll take a bit closer look at the components in here. All right, got the side panel taken off. And if we look inside, let's start out with the probably the most expensive thing in this computer is the graphics card. And what I've got for the graphics card, I feel lucky enough to get one because I don't know if this graphic shortage, graphic card shortage thing is gonna let up anytime soon. It really doesn't seem like it is, which is why I kind of jumped on it when I had the opportunity to get one. And this is a um, MSI Ventus 2. Uh, it is a uh, 3060 Ti. Uh, this was, oh shoot, I, I had it up and then I uh, kind of blocked it. Uh, uh, $629.99. Now, if there was no shortage at all, it would have probably gone for around $500. But, uh, you know, the MSRP, well, th not the MSRP, but it things, you know, this is the same price, uh, like at Micro Center, Newegg. I think it was a bit cheaper on Best Buy, but you're not really going to be able to get it at Best Buy if it's not in stock, really. Um, so, yeah, that is the graphics card. Uh, moving on to the motherboard. The motherboard is a Rogue Strix 
uh, X570E Gaming. And when I was picking uh, the motherboard, one of the most important things was, of course, that it had to handle the processor. But uh, I just wanted a lot of uh, USB 3.0 ports on it. And um, it, this thing has got nothing but USB 3.0 ports on it. Uh, even the ones on top are only uh, USB 3, and I'm, it's not focused. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, that's the top there. And if we look at the back, I, I, it has like eight USB 3 uh, ports back there, and I am using every single one of them. Let's talk about the CPU. What is underneath that water cooler there? It is a... Ryzen 9, this is a um, Ryzen 9 5900X 12 core. The reason I wanted to get this one is because it was kind of recommended for, because um, I wanted to do video editing and also gaming, and that processor is pretty much a good median at doing both very well. Uh, it was pretty much recommended in a lot of videos that I saw, and uh, yeah, I messed around with it a bit, and I, it blow, yeah, it's really good for what I what I want. But uh, yeah, what's on top of the CPU though is the cooler, and the cooler is the oh I didn't talk about how much the CPU cost. The CPU was uh, oh actually I didn't even talk about how much the motherboard was. The motherboard was three hundred and ten dollars, three hundred nine ninety nine. And the CPU was $549.99. And what's funny about that is if I had gone up like the next step to the 5950X, that would have been like $250 more. So um, I didn't think it was, I don't know if the performance increase is worth that much money, but I, I'm happy with the 5900X. Uh, the cooler itself here is this, it's the Kraken Z73. I kind of got talked into this one because I really didn't have a uh, clear idea of what kind of water cooler I wanted. And I really wasn't expecting to pay like uh, more than $150 for one. And this cooler was $300. And um, it was just highly recommended. Uh, and I know that I've seen reviews of this thing and it was like, it, it's uh, got really good reviews. And I just, you know, could not resist the screen on here. And it right now I have it cycling through like temperatures and uh, percentage of the processor being used. But what I love about this thing, what I utterly love is that you could uh, get it to show off animated GIFs. So uh, <laughs> just a quick example of that. Let's see, if I go here, the GIFs, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a Torgo. Of course, you got to have Torgo. I'm just going to run through the ones that I've downloaded um, and, and created really quick. The tool to do this is really, really quick. I had some of them before, like uh, here's Godzilla. <laughs> um, this one's kind of an inside joke between me and my wife. It's uh, Professor Bobo with a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> of course, I had to do this one. Crow. <laughs> um of course, being a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and Joseph Joestar being my favorite character, I had to throw him in here. Uh, then we've got, uh, here we go, Homer. I thought that was a pretty funny one to throw in here. Pac-Man. <laughs> um, again, Pac-Man again. Uh, this one I thought was pretty cool is Max Hedrum throwing that in the PC. Uh, I thought the Atari logo was a pretty good one to throw in there. Uh, this is pretty cool, too, pole position. <laughs> um, this one I actually am probably going to keep in here for a while. This is the Space Invaders. I just really like that one. Uh, plain and simple. Of course, here's more Mystery Science Theater. Joel from the intro. Um, I can't remember what this guy's name was from Reptilicus, and I just kind of really like this uh, animated gift. I think I actually made that one. And, of course, Torgo. <laughs> but let me go back to the one I like to keep it at. It's just plain and simple Space Invader. I might, you know, again, find something better in the future. But that's what I was going to keep it at. And um, <laughs> I think it's so cool. It blew me away. I messed around with this for quite a long time <laughs> instead of actually setting up the computer, which is why it's so late right now. Uh, okay, <laughs> moving on. The memory, I've got... Uh, four sticks, like two sets of two, 
of this uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro SL. And yes, that was the price for two of them. So double that. And that's what's in here. It is a DDR4 3600 megahertz. Um, yeah, and I was messing around with this as well with the um, with the programs. And I kind of like this pattern for right now. Um, something simple, not too flashy to draw away the eye from. Uh, what else we got in here? We've got... Oh, you know what I totally skipped out on is this Elgato, uh, what is it called, like 60 Pro or whatever. Uh, this was actually in the old computer, and it was so cluttered in that old computer, I actually forgot to point it out. So that's in there. For the power supply, um, we got oh, the uh, C, oh, is that C-Sonic. Uh, why aren't you focusing? Focus on the word focus. Wow. There we go. Uh, GX80. This is a 850 watt power supply rated 80 plus gold. I didn't really know what power supply to go with. I kind of knew what rating I wanted to go with, but um, the, the, at Fry's or not Fry's, Fry's is gone. At Micro Center, they highly the guy highly recommended this and, and pretty much said that this is the same basically internals that Asus puts in theirs. And um, yeah, that's. You know, I got to say at this point, they did a really good job assembling it, and they should have for uh, $250. But what I also didn't realize, when they set it up, they would have installed Windows for me, but I insisted they did not because I wanted to do that myself. But they upgraded the BIOS of the motherboard to the most recent version for me. They tweaked everything for me, um, making sure the memory wasn't being, um, you know, when you first install everything, you have to change in the BIOS to use the maximum speed of, me of memory. Otherwise, it's not going to... And that's actually something I learned fairly recently. So they did that. They had uh, also overclocked the CPU. So I'm actually, you know, in hindsight, I'm glad that they had set it up because that's something I probably would not have done. Um, speaking of overclocking, I also overclocked the video card. I did that myself because I... I was researching it, and it actually is very simple to do with absolutely no risk of ruining anything. So, you know, it just takes a little bit of time, and um, you get a little bit better performance. So, what else? We got, uh, let's talk about storage I have in this thing. I have actually four SSDs and two hard drives in this thing, and they're actually on the other side. And I've actually filmed earlier on the other side when I had it open, because I don't want to spin this around and take the plate off again. Well, actually, the first two <laughs> are actually on the motherboard, getting back to the motherboard, because it supported uh, two M2 and VME uh, sticks. So for the main drive that I have with the system and everything, this Samsung, no, it's just, yeah, Samsung, yeah, uh, 970 Evo Plus, and um, what was this? This is like $140, no, $144. But then actually, uh, before I picked it up, I had decided, hey, if there's two slots on it, I might as well put another stick on there. <laughs> and that's why I picked up this one, this um, Samsung uh, 980, a little bit slower than this one, I think, the previous one. But uh, for this drive, I am planning on just using it for... Um, Premiere projects, maybe uh, Photoshopping and stuff like that. Just the files that I'm working with, just so they're moving as fast as possible. And then on the other side, I've got two uh, SATA solid state drives. One of them is a, a Crucial at two, two, uh, two, <laughs> two, two terabyte. Why was I saying gigahertz? Two terabyte. And uh, that one was about $190. And then um, I also I said, hey, why not pick up another one? Um, actually, that one is going to be used for games, just putting games on it. And the other one, there's another one here, Crucial. It's the same thing. It's just one terabyte. And what I plan on using this for is just for the cache and scratch files for uh, video editing and maybe anything else that might need temporary files. I'll throw it on there because when I was researching like Premiere, it is best when Premiere works with three solid state hard drives, one for the system, one for your project files, and one for the cache and scratch files. And I did mess around with Premiere a little bit, and holy crap, it is so much better than what I used to have. So uh, mission success, I suppose. And then finally for the um, 
Oh, and that uh, one terabyte one, I think, was just a hundred. That was less than a hundred dollars. I just kind of picked up, and I could have gone with something far less uh, capacity for what I was using it for. But um, the price difference, you might as well just get the one terabyte, just you know, so you have the space in case you use it, need it, or something. And then finally, the uh, H, the regular hard drives. Uh, I pulled in the one from my previous computer, and that is a four terabyte. And then I actually wound up buying a six terabyte. Do I have the price on that one? Yeah, the six terabyte was a uh, was one hundred and ninety dollars. And the reason I went, I almost went with a, a uh, eight terabyte, but then I realized that that was only fifty four hundred RPM drive, while this one is a seventy two hundred RPM drive. So I kind of wanted just a little bit faster performance, even though it is a hard, a regular hard drive, just for storing like lots of files and and whatnot. And then the four terabyte one from my other computer is like a fifty seven hundred, so slightly store uh, slower. So I'll be using that for just. Um, Whatever, you know, something that doesn't really need fast access. And of course, back here, I've got the same five terabyte drive. So internally, I've got five terabytes of solid state storage and 10 terabytes of hard disk storage, and then another five terabytes of external hard disk storage. So I'm pretty well, well set for storage. All right, there you go. That is my old PC and my new PC. It's, it's kind of funny. I started making this video on Thursday when I started to set everything up and it's now finally Sunday morning and I'm all ready to go. There's just one thing I didn't show. And if you remember, I said I was going to be taking the Blu-ray drive from the old PC and connecting it up to the new PC. And yet I didn't show that attached. And that's because what I wound up getting was this external shell for the Blu-ray drive and it just hooks up via USB 3. So uh, I don't use it very often, but when I will use it to rip like DVDs and Blu-rays or whatnot, I can just connect it up and do that and disconnect it. Also, what I wanted to do is kind of do a before and after uh, benchmark. And to do that, I used uh, the website called userbenchmark.com. So before I took down my old PC, I ran the user benchmark on it. And basically what this user benchmark does is it uh, rates your PC based on gaming, desktop and workstation. It, it kind of does the individual components as well, but I kind of want to just do the overall thing. So for the old PC that I did replace on the gaming score, it got a 49 uh, percent. The desktop store score got an 87 percent and the workstation uh, score would it was like 42 percent. Now, gaming obviously is gaming. Desktop is basically single core usage stuff. And workstation is basically multi-core video editing, that kind of stuff. So that's what we got for our old PC. Now, when I got everything hooked up on this thing, and I actually ran it this morning, these are the results I got. Uh, for gaming, 144%. That is a massive increase. Uh, desktop, 108%. Again, not so massive an increase, but then again, it's just single core and just one core. Uh, between the two that I had it isn't that big of a difference. But again, it, it's not insignificant either, I feel. And then finally, the workstation, 162 percent. And that's what I was kind of really focusing on. And um, yeah, quite happy with this. And I did mess around with uh, Premiere just a little bit. And the thing just flies. And I think I may have mentioned that before. So there you go. The old PC, the new PC. Comparison between the two. And I'm extremely happy, and um, that's about it. I mean, I still haven't gotten the next Evercade carts yet, but when I do get them, I will start playing them, and that'll be my next focus. So, till then, see you then.